Okay then, we're going to have a look at how deserts are created and maintained. And we're going to go through this, and this skill will be AO2, describing, but also AO3, explanation. So let's have a look how a desert is formed. First of all, you need to be able to name a desert. Okay? So a Sahara Desert would be a really good example. Now all deserts are located in same regions, okay? They're in equidistance of the equator. They're in hot areas. So Sahara is the main example. So let's have a look here. It all has to do with three factors. Prevailing winds, ocean currents, and the rain shadow effect. So we're going to go through these points. We're going to keep coming back to it. These are our three main areas that we need to understand. Prevailing winds, ocean currents, and rain shadow effect. So, why do deserts have low rainfall? Why are they created then? So in the tropics, where the deserts are located, prevailing winds blow across the land towards areas of low pressure over the sea. So the wind is blowing over the land towards the sea. Okay? When they do this, they pick up little moisture. And because they pick up little moisture, it doesn't rain. And so the land becomes a desert. So that's the main factor. As you can see on this diagram, prevailing winds going over here, cooling, but they're not actually landing here where the desert's created. Second point then, ocean currents. When the wind does blow from the ocean, they have to cross the currents. Okay? As they do, they cool down, and any water vapor they carry in condenses to form fog. As a result, then it doesn't rain. Okay? Now the final part there is that when the wind blowing across the ocean pushes upwards up this mountain range, the rain falls on one side, okay? And it doesn't fall on the other side, which creates a rain shadow effect. I'll just move that away. Rain shadow effect here. So the prevailing wind's blowing up, the clouds are cooling, condensation and the rain falls on one side of the slope, but it doesn't on the other, which creates a rain shadow effect, okay? And on this side here, the ocean currents are chilled and unable to pick up moisture, so they just blow over, and no rain falls. And with the high pressure, it dries up the area. So let's go through that again, okay? Because that might seem a little bit confusing. And it could be, but let's have a look. Let's clear this. So, the first factor is, you've got these prevailing winds. And they're blowing up. And they dump all their rain, when they cool, on one side of the mountain range. This means that no rainfall, this rain shadow effect, falls on the area where the desert is. Okay? Next point. You've got wind coming from the other side of the continent. It's so chilled, it doesn't pick up any water, any moisture, so there's nothing to rain. And so again, this area gets no rainfall. And because it gets no rainfall, it creates a desert. Okay? So let's go through it again. Prevailing winds rise. They dump all their water from the clouds in one area, okay, so it doesn't reach over to the, where the desert is. It's called the rain shadow effect. Secondly, other winds from other seas are so cool and so chilled that they have no moisture, and so no rainfall happens, and you get a desert. So those are the two main points, okay? Prevailing winds tend to rise and dump on their rainfall on one side of a mountain. It doesn't get to the area that's a desert. From the other side, the water is so chilled in the ocean that no winds pick up any moisture and so we don't get any rainfall in the area where the desert is. Okay, I hope that's clear. 
Let's see if we can just do it on a little bit of a silly diagram. Okay, this is the desert. Let's colour in yellow for the sand. All deserts then, at the edge of them, have a mountain range. The prevailing wind hits that mountain range. The clouds let out their water on this side of the mountain, but not on the other because it cools and it falls. So no rain gets over this side. From the other direction, the ocean is so cold that there is no moisture to create clouds and so no rain falls here. Again, this is why you get the desert. Let's go through it again. So, mountain range, prevailing wind, rises, rains, from the other direction, ocean, it's too cool, no moisture, no rain, results in desert.